Hello guys, I hope you got since last video. So this time we're gonna see uh, deployments on Kubernetes using some Slack notification and the GitOps um, strategy using Argo CD. So here I'm gonna create an application in Slack. I'm gonna link it uh, to our one channel, Dev1. So let's call it Argo CD. So that would be the name of the app. That's the name that we're going to use to call the app in the chat. Okay, so the app has been created. We uh, need now to go to the uh, permissions. So on the left side, OAuth permission. And here you get, you get it in the screen directly. Um, we're going to click on permission and uh, Add some uh, rules here. If you don't see it, just click here. Oh, permissions. And you're gonna get this screen. I had it already prepared. And after you click here, select API permission. Okay, so that's the permission screen. Now that we're in, we need uh, to add the scopes. So security via token rotation. So we're gonna get a token at the end. But uh, before, so if you don't if you don't add any scopes, you won't be able to uh, to get this token. Here we go. So we need the two of those. One is a chat right. That's the permission. And the other one is the custom chat right customize. That's good. Now the button is active. Install workspace. And we allow. And here we got the bot user old token. You can copy the token, put it on the side for later on. And you can um, go into the channel where you want to invite the application. So at Argo CD, you're going to send a message and uh, you're going to get this uh, option to invite the user. Add colleagues doesn't work with that. I'm just going to show you. You see, it doesn't work. Don't get anything. Need an email while here. Add. And you see the app. And we send the message. Invite them. And it's inside. So now we're back to the terminal. So this was just how to set up that uh, application on Slack. And here we're gonna put uh, in a YAML file the token that we got before. It's a secret that we are going to uh, deploy in Kubernetes. This has to be uh, this name, you can't change it. So the name Argo CD notifications secret for the metadata name. Don't change it. There is a, another YAML file, which is the, I call it Slack Argo CD notification. Is the config map. So same, we're gonna deploy this config Mac. You can find all those um, files online in the documentation or in different blogs. So this is where the secret token will be uh, loaded. So service.slack and uh, that's where we need the, the token. 
So the config map is going to get it from there. Different trigger on commit. I'm going to use a project in which I'm not going to do any commit because it's already uh, it's it's not my project, but it's uh, used uh, by the tutorial. But I will be able to still uh, have some triggers. There's different kind of triggers. The sync status. So that's the one that we're going to use. The source resource repo sync revision. Okay, so this is prepared. Mm, let me change this, uh, the name of the secret. Just gonna call it Argo CD secret. This is done. And now the channel. We can maybe change the settings and change it to, to a private channel. So no changes will be made to the channel history and members. All files shared in this channel up to until this point will be uh, publicly accessible. There's nothing in this channel, it's all right. So this is the documentation of Argo CD. That's the different steps that we are going to follow. We're going to install Argo CD. We're going to see it all step by step how to do it. So kubectl, we're going to create a namespace first. Let's see all the namespace that we have. We have uh, the GitLab agent, the norm and all uh, the default namespaces. And we're going to create one called uh, Argo CD. Good. So now we are ready to uh, do the installation of Argo CD. Here. So in the first part, we just created the app on Slack. Now we're going to do the installation of Argo CD and do a little presentation of it. And after that, we are going to, um, to see how the, the Slack notification arrives. So let's apply all the customer resources, service accounts, the role, cluster roles, all the binding, config maps, services, deployment, and network, network policies. So it's going to take a few seconds to, uh, to install, to deploy. Let's check what is in the namespace. You see it's all uh, running and ready, but the repo server and the Argo CD server is not yet running. Now we got the repo server running, we're waiting for the Argo CD server and instantly it is running now. So the infrastructure of Argo CD is deployed. Let's get the services. Okay, so you can see here all the services are in cluster IP. So it's internally uh, accessible, but uh, from outside the cluster, we can't access to it. We will uh, remedy to that. So we're gonna just uh, get the Argo CD server. in a YAML, um, YAML here, and we're going to put it in a file, so we will be able to modify it and redeploy it. Argo CD server YAML, that's good, let's cut, let's just see what it's in. This is how it is, it's a service. Annotations, we got here the cluster IP. So we're going to change the type. So let's clear this. And let's go in the, in the file to, uh, to uh, proceed to those modifications. So as you can see here, we have cluster IP. Let's change it to node port. And we need to map 
those ports here just to copy and paste the uh, configurations and the port will be uh, 30,080 from outside and we're gonna apply to the cluster this uh, this file this is gonna just patch what was already there and change the not the cluster IP to a not port I go CD server YAML in the namespace Argo CD. Yes, here. Now I'll just list, uh, let's do the same for the, um, the other one. So we got the services. This one is changed to not port for the Argo CD server. So the server is to exit to the web UI. You, you can see the port is 30,080. And uh, the Argo repo server, that's the repository, which is going to be uh, listening to uh, an external Git repository. And we're going to give it uh, the access to the outside world by uh, also changing the, the type to not port. Let's put it in the file. Get all the configurations, Argo CD, repo server, the channel. And now let's just to see what it's in. So that's the same, cluster IP, and we're gonna change it for node port. Let's go down here. And just paste uh, the configuration to map the ports. That's good. So 30,084 will be the port for this one. This is a HTTPS. So 30,081 will be the port for this one. But we won't need uh, to uh, access to it. It's just to giving it access to the outside world. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Okay, this is applied. Got the two not, not ports for those two services. So in the web UI localhost, the port was 3080 for the server, that's the one we need to access to. It's insecure because it's an HTTP, not an HTTPS. Now we in. Admin will be the username. And the password, we need to pick up the password from our deployment. There's different ways to pick up that password. But I'm just going to show you where it is, so you have a deeper understanding of how the things works. So kubectl get secrets, all namespaces, just I want to see where it is. Uh, what did I do? kubectl. Let in the L. Good. So, Argo CD secret. It's in the namespace Argo CD. Let's open this file. Notification secrets. Okay. So, we're going to open this one Argo CD secret. Get it and see what sits in. And that's the one, yes. Opac. So let's edit. Doesn't look like the, the right one. Let me check. No, that's not the right one. So this is just to uh, the cluster. The TLS keys and the third keys. Okay, so that's not the right one. Let's exit. This is Vim. Apart from Nano, but still. 
on your edit using the kubectl command it will be uh, vim by default so that's the one argo cd initial admin secret and here we got the secret you see password it's a base 64 encoded so we need to uh, decode that before playing it with a little echo command now we got the password let's just copy the password and put it here to get the access to the web UI I'm just going to update what I had before because uh, I've been using it ok, the web UI is ready That's good. There's no application yet. So, on the documentation, we did this already. We need to install the Argo CD CLI. Argo CD, I just tap it because I already installed it. That's uh, what you should see after installation. Um, I'm just going to show you, maybe in the documentation, where do you find it? Here. That's for Linux. But you got uh, the other ones. That's the one I used. Patch. This is uh, when you want to use port forwarding. Uh, load balancer or ingress controller but I already did uh, the port forwarding in another way so changing those uh, YAML files now here the settings account user info and I want to change the password so the initial password was just to log in to have the access and after you have to personalize it so let's put our own password so the web UI is uh, one way to uh, log in to Argo CD. I'm going to show you also the other way to log in. So now we uh, we have updated this password. I'm going to show you how to log in with the um, here Argo CD login with the CLI. Clear this. Argo CD login. So localhost. You remember that's what we tapped into the web browser, and we went to the port 30080. It's an insecure connection. Username, admin, and password. The password that we just set. Good. So we are connected. So here we're gonna get the different contexts of Kubernetes. So the different uh, permissions. I have different ones. I have Tsutaya Kubernetes, Tokyo, I have a Kubernetes admin. I'm gonna use the admin one because it has uh, all the permissions. And we're going to add it to Argo CD cluster using the Argo CD cluster add. So this is a way to add the kubeconfig linked to this context. context. So you can add the, the cluster to Argo CD. So it's going to create a service account, cluster role, under cluster role binding. Good. Let's open another terminal. Well, this is uh, running. So 
so we're gonna change the context and place uh, ourselves uh, into the namespace Argo CD because uh, by default the namespace of uh, contexts are in uh, the default namespace good so our comments I just give you a few seconds to like and subscribe good let's go back in now we are going to do our first application so the application using Argo CD command app create the name will be guest book Kubernetes so that's another guest book different from one uh, in the tutorial the repository there's this one here so there's a little flag for the repo we're gonna visit it and just see what it's, it's in the path guest book all in one so that's the directory where you find the manifest files to deploy and the kubernetes default svc it's uh, the, the cluster because we're in the same uh, computer on the namespace default so the application will be deployed in default namespace so here where you get the url of uh, the repository here the guest book folder one after the other one is all in one and here you get the manifest files to deploy this application i like the architecture of this one that's why i choose this one instead of the one which is in the um, tutorial of argo cd the official one but it will be the same uh, application okay so you've seen this and now we are ready to deploy let's add this uh, application seconds has been created perfect let's um, check you see the pods we are already in the namespace Argo CD so we can see all the pods they are running it's good So these pods are the ones uh, when we created, when we uh, installed Argo CD, but uh, the application is not here as you can see. Why? Because Argo CD now we created the application, but we didn't do any synchronization with the repository. So here we are in Argo CD. We might need to refresh because we changed the password. You're not logged in, let's log in with our new password. Okay, now we are logged in. And here you see guest book Kubernetes, that's our application. Out of sync 6 on the left side, you can see. Out of sync, let's sync. Uh, print apply on me mm, I think that's enough you have the retries if you want expect no differences print last server side apply apply, apply out of sync okay let's just synchronize like that And now you see it's all turning green step by step from the back to the front in progress 12 3 healthy so the numbers are changing i'm just gonna zoom out a bit so this is nice because you can see your stack you can see uh, every component how they are interconnected this can also help you to fix your YAML files. Maybe uh, sometimes you, you're doing some mistakes in the labeling. Let's put 
this pack here. Redis, there's a Redis master replica front end. Now you see when we get the pod in the default namespace, they are um, almost all running. Still, the process is still going on. Let's check services, the default namespace. On the front end is in the node port already, so we can access to it. At the port 31983. Let's go check that. So localhost. And uh, we put the port 31983. And here is the app. Perfect. So in Slack, we don't get anything yet. Let's go to Slack notification. And we get our YAML files. So this is the, the one that we did uh, before. I took it from uh, the documentation. Everything is online. And let's check the other one, the secrets. Uh, YAML, YAML. YAML, okay. And here is the secret that I copied from uh, the application creation on Slack. And I put it in. I go see the app list. You can see all the apps. This is the app. So I go see the app get and we put the name of the application. So the application is already synced, but we need to add um, some uh, annotations to it in order for the application to be able to contact Slack whenever the deployment, whenever the application is uh, is uh, doing some synchronizations with the repository. So I will see the app kit, I put the name of the app, I put it in the YAML format, and here is the YAML format of it, as you can see. All right. Check. I'm gonna put this in a file. Not sure that is the right way yet, but I'm just uh, testing it. I'll go CD. Casebook. Let's call it like that. YAML. Okay, we got the metadata. On the top, on the documentation, I've seen the application. Here we need. Let me see. Here are the spec. Okay. So the repository is already the right one. So everything is good. But let me just change this. So the namespace, we don't need it because we have it already in the metadata. So only the annotation. Metadata, I'm just going to copy this and put it in the metadata already existing. Let's get rid of it. We have the happy version, I'll go project alpha. The kind is application. So just above the spec here, we have the name and the namespace. That's good. And here, annotation. And that's the Slack channel name, app deployment. CTL. Let's uh, apply this.
So I apply it, but what's the problem? The namespace Argo CD. Maybe operation failed. Let me check. Maybe I didn't get the right file. Because I got it from uh, Argo CD command. So as you can see here, there's a service called the application set controller. And I'm gonna get maybe the YAML file from, uh, from this one here. So I was hesitating between both. But you have to get it from uh, Kubernetes actually. Not from Argo CD. So let's get this service. Controller in the namespace Argo CD. No. Okay. Edit. And here you see we have the annotations already in the label, the namespace. Okay. I'm just gonna quit. And we're gonna put all YAML. So it does the same, but in another okay. Give me a second here. So when I go in the web UI, that's the place where we can put those annotations. So you can do it also manually using the, the web UI and add your annotations. You can update from here, but uh, I don't want to do it like that. But here the documentation says add annotations, Notification, I go CD app, Slack, my channel, just check how is this uh, formatted. So that's what we got there. Think succeed. So that's what I got before. On the application. I'm just gonna copy the spec, all the spec of the application. I'm gonna put it here in my uh, own um, file, so with only the annotation. So this is a way to patch it. Now we're good. So we added this annotation. There's nothing here yet. I'm just going to check the file now to see if it uh, has been uh, deployed correctly. So we should see the annotation. This book, I will see the I'm going to change the, the namespace to Argo CD because I've seen that I deploy it to, to the default namespace. And uh, I believe that's not right. That's why there's nothing updating. Okay. This looks better. Let's see. So it's saying to use create instead of uh, apply. I always use apply.
and you see here now we got the notification so we all good we all set okay so you take from the documentation the notification uh, annotation and after you put the spec just to complete that file and you apply it to the cluster Now that we got Argo CD working and we got um, the synchronization sending uh, notifications to the front end to the to Slack, we're gonna just uh, show how nice is Argo CD and Kubernetes in general. And here we can see from uh, the web UI when we delete. So now I deleted the pod from the topography. We just go to the front end. Let's try to, uh, to navigate this. So 7F K9V. We got it. No. So you, you see, it was so quick that I didn't have the, the chance to show you. So the, the pod has been terminated and another one has replaced it. You see, that's uh, nice when you have a failure. So you can get it uh, just uh, healed automatically. So this, uh, this auto healing process is very interesting and that's why people also like to use Kubernetes. So the new one it's uh, XQ, XKQ6F, XKQ6F. Okay, just update it. And this time, this, this time I'm gonna mean, I'm gonna just go here and show you XKQ6F. Let's, let's reduce the size. And you see, well, I did it. So now it's terminating, but before it's creating a new one and after terminating the other one. Okay, so now you, you see. The, in some documentation I've seen here, uh, Jagram is playing you how the notification works with Slack. So Infra Cloud, you can check that. And you get also all the different steps in setting up. Um, the Slack notification, the application, and uh, you get also the, the files that I showed you, the secret. There's a little bit more, you, you can adapt it as I did to your use case in order to, and you can see here the creation of the, uh, the application. And you have some more annotations, as you can see. Me, I used only one annotation. But uh, you can get those annotations. Let's get those and uh, put them in your in your YAML file. So going through uh, the documentation, you can find uh, different ways to uh, communicate with your Slack. Here, this is better. Let's go into the Slack notification. That's what we got before. And let's just paste it here. Just to show you, this uh, on heal, degraded, on sync, failed, on sync status, unknown, on sync succeed, and so on. So you got this overview. Of um, how to uh, link your Kubernetes to Argo CD. Argo CD being the intermediary handling the deployments, having a topography, being able to see the architecture deployed, and also being able to send notification to, uh, to Slack. So, this is what uh, they call GitOps. So sometimes people think GitOps is just uh, having Argo CD. It's not about the, 
the application that you use. It's more about the system that you put in place. On here, we get all the annotations updated. So the ones that I just added, I just wanted to show you here in the web UI at the same time. So you see notification, on here, degraded, notification, on sync status, unknown, and so on. Let's destroy everything. So I've been just, uh, okay. Application has been deleted. And let's uh, reapply it. So redeploy the application. Application is back. And we got the notification here, you see? So that was the first one, that's the second one that we just got now. And after you just to do a synchronization. So it can be an auto automatic synchronization. Here I'm just doing it manually. Apply only. Let namespace. If there is new namespace. And so on. So I need more to investigate on those uh, options. It's good. It's a very interesting tool to use. And it changes uh, the life of uh, the professionals working on, uh, on this. That's good. And now that we're done, we can just uh, tear everything down. So I just delete. You see the app has disappeared. If you want also, you can get rid. So that was the app. Accessible. You can also get rid of the of the namespace, so we might do that. Repositories. Here you get to the clusters connected. Different accounts. The appearance. Logout from here from the web UI. We got the namespace still running and uh, we can also delete the, the namespace. I go CD logout localhost 30080. So from the CLI also we can log out. Hope that you liked it. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time.